This is the CBS 13 News at 6. I feel like he's getting out and I'm getting sentenced. The victim of a violent serial rapist forced to relive her nightmare tonight after finding out the man who attacked her will be released from prison later this month. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. I'm Adrian Moore. The California Department of Corrections says the man who became known as the pillowcase rapist will be released in just days, even though he never served his full sentence. CBS 13's Marissa Pullman is getting answers on the legal loophole that will set him free, Marissa. Well, guys, these rapes and attacks all happened in the 1980s right here in downtown Sacramento. Today we spoke with one of Robert Feldmeyer's victims. She tells us the judge told her this man would die in prison. Tonight we're learning why that's not true. I feel like they have just taken our life away. This woman, who didn't want us to reveal her name, says she was attacked, beaten, and raped by Ronald Feldmeyer at just four years old. Kind of like the first boyfriend of my mom's my family really ever liked, ironically. She says both she and her mom testified against him, and he was sentenced to 67 years behind bars. He stared at me the entire time that I testified with the same eyes that he has now. Now she's scared for her life that Feldmeyer will come after her once he's released from prison at the end of this month. I finally had that peace, and now I feel like in nine days, it's all getting taken away from me. The Department of Corrections says they're legally bound to observe what they call a work incentive law from 1983, in effect when Feldmeyer was convicted, even though that law has since been superseded. We always have to follow the law that exists at the time of the crime. District Attorney Anne Marie Schubert says at the time he was sentenced, the law gave him work credit. It gave inmates one day per credit for each day served working a prison job. Everything under the law, whether we agree with that law or not, was followed in this particular case. That meant he legally completed his sentence in almost half the time. But we're digging deeper. We wanted to know what safety precautions are in place for when Feldmeyer is released. The district attorney says he'll need to check in with a parole officer every 10 days. And we have a system in place to make sure he's monitored. But still, his victim says it's not enough, and she wants you to see his picture for your safety and hers. I don't want him to ever hide in society again. Well, the district attorney says if Feldmeyer was convicted today with the current law, he'd be facing multiple life sentences. He will be released at the end of this month, but we are not told exactly which county he'll be released into just yet. We'll keep you posted. Uh, yeah, reliving the nightmare for his victim, that's for sure. Marissa, thank you.